So one of the first things that caught my eye was the tariffs. Can you elaborate on what he means by that? Like, what what is a tariff actually? If if you can give me like a definition, I'm gonna pull it. Okay, here basically this way. Let's say you're making shoes for ten bucks. Okay. Okay. Uh, Portugal also makes shoes, but they make them for five bucks. Okay. So they send them over here, and they're selling them for almost the exact same shoe, like five or six bucks, and you're selling yours for ten. Okay. You're not going to sell a lot of shoes that way. So to even the market, what they do is they say, okay, you we're going to put a $4 tariff on them. So they're both 10 bucks. Okay. So that way people... You yeah. choose. I get now, what you're saying. Now, Portugal might make a better shoe. Might. Yeah. Good. They might not. But it's the same price. Or close enough to the same price that you could go either way. Okay. Okay. The other, on the flip side, is if when you ship something to France, let's say, you, you know, Great Britain's a good one. When we send booze over there, mm -hmm. whatever it is, there's like a 50% tariff on it. Okay. But when they send booze over here, we don't put a tariff on it. Which okay. We, which we should. It's like, you want to put 50% tariff on us when we ship stuff over there, we're going to do the same thing to you. And like, well, we don't like that. It was like, well, we don't like it either. Okay. Okay. And they're trying so to basically it's like a tax on on the country. On it, the country or or on on you have you have to pay to sell your stuff here. So there's a toll. Put, if, if you, you want to come in, you gotta pay the toll to sell yeah. stuff in Great Britain so or if, in if, America. So if or you wherever. impose that on, on certain countries, that would royally fuck them. Like the whole wine yeah, example that he was talking about when he said, exactly. he's like, I'll put a hundred percent tariff. I was like, Ooh, yeah. If you did that to wines, like a lot of people would be pissed. But, but I also get the point of, of doing it to other countries. But if they're doing it to us, which they are most countries, you know, and we'd let them send, sell stuff here without tariffs on them. Sometimes, sometimes America makes me feel like we are like the baby daddy of the world. You know what I'm saying? And everybody everybody comes to us to go well, solve your problems and kick down doors and shit. Well, the problem is, was after, I think it was, was after World War II. What do you mean? Well, in uh, America, we stayed out until Pearl Harbor. And then after that, we're like, we're all in. By the time we got there, uh, Britain, France, most of Europe was war-torn. Because of... Yeah, all the obviously. bombing and yeah. yeah, all the bombing and everything. So when the war was over, it would have been very easy for the U.S. goes like, well, Germany, you're no longer a country; you're a territory of the Americas now. To give an example, to give yeah. an example, yeah, we didn't do that because we're because everybody goes like, you're just colonizers. I was like, we could have colonized most of the world after World War II, because who would have stopped us? Oh yeah, because we had bases in Africa, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah who would have yeah, stopped yeah, us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we could have took. Well, look at most what they of, did. We could took most of the actors. This is America now. Look at what they did on World War One on the eleventh hour, the eleventh day, the eleventh month. Yep. They were like, "You're gonna fucking sign this. Like, this will bankrupt, bankrupt us. Like, you fucking did all this shit, bro. Like, what the fuck do you think was gonna happen? Yeah. So I think here's my problem with that is so, that it. So it, we got go used to taking care of the world after World War Two. We didn't take over and say this is ours now. Yeah, we but said we okay. We we're gonna get involved in World War II in the beginning. No, we not did in not. The beginning. No, we didn't. In the beginning. So that's that's well. What... Well, they were well. Obviously, Japan and Germany were paying both sides. Yeah. Obviously, Japan thought that they could just America. Watch this. Yeah. We were like, well, just had to go and do that, bro. Just I think. To go I think it that. was. Uh, there was a famous. I think it was Admiral. Yokomoto, Admiral, the Japanese. And after they bombed Pearl Harbor, he said, we just wake the sleeping giant. Supposedly, that I believe that's what he said. Who was it? What was it? Uh, I think it was Admiral Yokomoto in charge of the Admiral of the fleet. Yamamoto. 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 Excuse, me. Excuse me. He is quoted as, as Admiral Isoroku Yamamoto regarding the attack of 1941 on Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I fear that all we have done is waken, 
is awaken the sleeping giant. I fear we have done the sleeping giant and fill him with the terrible resolve. Damn. That motherfucker spitting bars. Yeah. <laughs> the other the other thing is, you know why Japan or Germany never actually invaded America? Because they said there was a gun behind every blade of grass. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's yeah. why they never just... They, oh, yeah, bro. If you were to bring war into here, bro, it would just now, be... You might be able to get away with California. But after you that... Might. After you that... Might. You might for like a day or two... <laughs> Yeah, for like a day or two, and then guess guess what's next door, Nevada. Mm -hmm. You know how many people have guns in Nevada, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying. All the all, I don't know if you've seen that. There was a podcast. There's these guys. We're talking to these women, and they're all feminists, and they say we don't need a man. Blah blah blah. Anyway, the fit in whatever. No, it's not the fit thing. I don't the, remember the one with the the ex FBI or ICE agent. I think it was something. Like anyway, guy. some guy came in and supposedly he had a gun. You know oh, what? you're talking about the Andrew Tate thing. Was it Andrew Tate? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. When the Guess dude, what all the Tate Andrew... got up and he was like, let's fucking fight. Yeah. And then the what did dude, all the feminists do? They they the hid, hid behind they hid but, behind Tate. They hid behind yeah, Tate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, know what you're talking about. I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That's what will happen in California. Everybody goes like mm. it's like, I don't believe in guns. Then they'll hide behind the person with a gun. Well, the police will help them. <laughs> the less than hundred thousand cops that they have. Yeah. <laughs> After they defunded them because they're evil. <laughs> so that's what the, are your thoughts? Other... What are your thoughts on tariffs? This is my question. Before we get too crazy, what are your thoughts on the whole tariff situation that he imposed? Uh I just that think... he, I'm sorry, not I'm sorry, let me belay that that he he was talking about. No, I think uh done in a coordinated manner, it's very beneficial. But you can if you do tariffs just blanket tariffs you can yeah. really screw shit up but if it's targeted like if you're doing this to us we're gonna do the same thing back to you yeah. and if you don't like it then let's then quit, do let's quit doing yeah. it yeah yeah we'll negotiate so this is this is my uh, problem with it right my problem with it is if you do that mm -hmm. and they're like fuck you okay there's going to be a lot of loss of things. Like a lot of things are, are not going to get here. A lot of things we're going to miss No, out. I think I think things will open up because. You think uh, so? Open up and what, what do you mean by open up? Okay. I don't know if you remember the baby formula debacle or baby food thing during Biden. Um, no. There was a shortage. Okay. And they said, uh, apparently this major, I don't know who it was. There was found metal in the baby food. And they're like, well, we can't sell it. Shut the whole place down. I got you. I'll pull it up. Keep talking. Keep talking. And it was a major distributor. So they were short on baby food and stuff like that. Well, they're not allowing baby food from, because Ireland goes like, hey, we have baby food we can send to you. It's like, you can't send it to us. Why? Because your label's wrong. We... I'm pulling it up. Yeah. I'm I'm seeing bits and pieces of stores across the United States have a shortage due to metals found yeah. inside of baby formula in 2022. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I okay. Let's see here. We can share this because it's an article. We're not gonna yeah, the it. article. We can share the article. Yeah. Yeah, we're not sharing videos unless someone sends it to me. White has announced a measure to address